You don't know me. No one knows me. Only Master knows of my existence. But Master and I know all of you. We visit all of you, my friends, during the witching hour. I'm never there during the day. The sun's rays penetrate my shadowy soul and obliterate my flesh. My bones turn to ash, and my organs become dust. Daytime in one place is nighttime for another, though. So Master and I are always traveling, never in one place for too long. After the sun has died and the moon lives again, I come. I'll get close to you and breathe in the scent of your life. I listen to your heartbeat and breathing. Master then starts work on you, putting one finger in your forehead and whispering Latin words. You always end up squirming or screaming. Master calls them nightmares. I always want to comfort you, hold you close, but I can never touch, not ever. Master tells me not to touch. I've learned not to touch. Master hurt me badly, and my skin, my scarred sensitive skin, has paid the price. But sometimes, I can't help myself. When Master isn't looking, I strike. I brush my fingernails down your arms, trace your lips, comb your hair away from your face. But my skin kills your kind and breaks the blood vessels. It bruises your body in mysterious ways that you can never figure out. I'm sorry. I really am. I just can't help myself. I want to show you how much I love you. When Master and I are done with you, I always remember to take a souvenir. Usually something that's small and you won't notice being missing, like a coin or a pen snatch up from behind Master's desk. When Master and I are done with you, I always remember to take a souvenir. It's usually something small that you won't notice, like a coin or a pen. I snatch it up behind Master's back, but sometimes, you don't have very much. When that happens, I take something else. With Master's permission, of course. Hair, nails, eyelashes. A part of you. And it will always be mine. I hope to see you tonight. But if you don't fall asleep, we'll have a problem. Master says I can't let you see me. If you see me, our friendship is over. And I'll have to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to see the blood seep through your bedsheets. I don't want to see your face as you scream at the sight of me. My deformed skin. My scars. My love for you. But maybe, deep down inside, just a little bit, I do. I am Master's child, after all. Sweet dreams, darlings. I'll be waiting for you.